virtual reality, one of my most anticipated technologies. Ever since I was a kid, I always was intrigued by this technology. So a few months ago, I got myself a VR headset, the Oculus Quest 2. And in this video, I want to create my first VR game. So there was this TV show I used to watch a lot. It was called Chuck World. Chuck Zone. Chuck, chuck World zone. consisted of a kid which had a chuck. And he went into a chuck zone and he could draw whatever he wanted. Everything he drew became real. So in today's video, I am going to create a VR game based on this TV show. The idea is you're going to have a chuck with which you can draw whatever you want. And that whatever you want is going to turn into an actual usable object. Now, I know what you're thinking. How am I going to create this? Like, how am I going to make the game recognize the object that the user drew? And this is a great question however i have no idea but i'm gonna do it anyway so i started off creating the chalk watching a tutorial from justin barnett which it was great and everything but it was not what i was looking for i needed to be able to draw in the air i watched a lot of tutorials but i couldn't get it to work because of who's updated their sdk so every video i watched wasn't like as accurate so i had to figure it out myself however after watching a lot of tutorials an entire day later i managed to get this So yeah, I was finally able to draw in midair. But there's a problem though. The collider that the lines generate are not even close to being the same size or shape of the lines. They're like giant boxes, so they are not working at all. So this is something I need to fix, but I'm gonna do it later on. I am now going to work in the first scene of the game. So let me explain the premise of the game before I keep going with the development. So you're gonna start in a classroom with other students and a teacher, and the teacher is gonna call you to the board. So you're gonna go to the board, you're gonna take the chalk, and then you're gonna draw a circle. That circle will create a portal to the chalk zone. In this case, I'm gonna name it the chalk world. Chuck so zone. you're gonna go inside the portal, and then when you go inside the portal, you're gonna find a dude or a bad creature or something, and he's going to want to kill you or take the chalk away from you, or I don't know. So right when you were going back to the world the portal snaps you got nothing else to do than run so once you start running you realize you have a chuck with you and you start drawing something you start drawing a gun and then you see that you can actually use the gun to defend yourself so that's the whole point of the game so it's gonna be a puzzle game like escape the room however in this case it's going to be an entire world and you're gonna have to draw things in order to get out of certain situations or certain places so i started looking for a good classroom in sketchfab for the first scene this classroom will also be the main menu so I wanted it to be small. So once I found one, I brought it into Unity and started adding some box colliders and mesh colliders and made the world interactable. I also added two school buses outside so that when you look through the window, you see that and you see a school. So yeah, I was trying to build the first scene, adding some details and making everything interactable so that it is immersive. Now here comes the challenging part. I need to figure out a way to make the game recognize the shapes that the user draws. So after doing some research, I found something called the $1 algorithm, which I'm not going to go into too much detail about how it works, but it is basically an algorithm that determines if two shapes are alike. So in order to compare the two shapes, it must have a pre-made alphabet. An alphabet will be a list of XML files, which will contain the position of the dots for each shape. Lucky for me, there's a YouTuber called Volume Tutorials, which has a lot of VR tutorials, and he happens to have a video with this specific algorithm, the, well, instead of the $1 algorithm, is the P$ algorithm, which is a bit more complex and it has more functionalities than the $1, but it is heavily based on the $1 algorithm. So I'm gonna follow his tutorial and I'm gonna do exactly what he does to make this work in a 3D space in VR. Okay, so after implementing everything, it seems to work. So if I draw a hat, it will throw a hat, and if I draw a circle, it will throw whatever I configured the game to throw. So, of course, I need to add a lot more objects. I want to add as much objects as I can. I want to make that, if you want to draw whatever you want, it will throw that thing that you drew. So I want to add a lot more objects, and I want to add them with functionalities. For example, if you draw a car, then it will throw a car that you are going to be able to drive. Or if you draw a gun, then you're gonna be able to shoot the gun, and etc. But I'm gonna leave that for the next video. So if you are interested in this game, make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna try to upload like every two weeks or something like that. And without further ado, thank you so much for watching, and I see you guys in the next video.